Hello and welcome back everybody to this last episode of the demo of Pitch Black. We will have a look at the bonus room now. Kuren Akagi. Doc. Kurea. Ah, Kurea. Claire, I see. 15. 45 kilos. Height 156 centimeters. Lady, you need to eat something. The protagonist. Kuren Kuronome, high school, second year student. Born a medium like her mother. She learned to live with her ability at an early age. Squeamish. Her mother died when she was eight. Lives a normal life with her father. Extremely popular at school to the point where she has a fan club. Likes sweets and dislikes spicy food in general. Likes making wishes, but those never come true. Normal cats usually attack or threaten her, but she doesn't dislike them. Okay, so she knows she's a medium, and then she isn't afraid of an Oni? Like, she knows this shit is for real, I guess. It's titled, Maya at the Park. Hmm, who's this Maya? Is she from another game and I just don't know her? Fei Lin, cat. Okay, whatever, cat. <laughs> oh, her, her, um, what do you call it? Her star sign, her... In the cycle of the animals in the Chinese calendar. She's a cat, I guess. A at least, I guess. Age 17. 49 kilos, 161 centimeters. This seems rather absurd. Deutero... Something... Gunist. Kuronome, I have to Google that word. High school. Senior student and student council's president. Her parents are working overseas while she finish finishes her studies. Childhood friend of Claire. She's like her older sister. She's very protective of Claire. Planned the whole festival by herself in less than a week to reduce overall meeting time. Vice President Shibuya Ryota acknowledges her cap capabilities and looks up to her. She likes dog plushies and dislikes apples. Students say, quote, best student council ever. Okay. Shibuya Ryota. Kuronome High School Senior Student and Students Council Vice President. Born a calm, calculating individual. A little blob, individual. He takes his work as Vice President solemnly. His eyes make him look ruthless and evil, striking fear on those who break school rules. Those that know him well, that know him well say he's kind and attentive. Yeah, well, still, he looks suspicious with these glasses. Takeda Shinichiro, a police officer, sucked into the parallel space with M. With M. Ah, oh, we probably don't know M yet. Die is shredded to pieces either way. Oh, he's really dead, so there's no way to save him. I see. Well, that sucks. I thought maybe I did something wrong. I should have gotten closer to him or something like that. Blaze. The light in the darkness. The statue of a phoenix. Well, Phoenix isn't the first thing that comes to mind, but okay, an evil Phoenix. <laughs> Black. Grimalkin. Whatever that means. Dolls. Evil. The doll family. Pranksters. They mostly stay in the basement area. Harmless. Yeah, very harmless. They killed me one, more than one time. They hate singularity inside the family. Because of this, they give special treatment to dolls who stand out from others, from reasons other than their color. Ah, I see, so that is probably why I picked up that doll. Claire the Crimson Witch. Okay. Also named Claire, suspicious. Jodie, the mysterious doll with a blue dress. Jodie isn't a part of the doll family. She sometimes giggles and move, her on, move on her own. Aha. Uh -huh. The giggles can be a problem in hiding situations. I see. So the giggles I heard so far were always from my own doll. That is kind of shitty. Even if Claire decides to drop her, Jody will come back eventually. Ah, okay. No, I haven't even tried this, but okay. The other floors are closed to the public. The owner said nothing weird about it. Uh, something weird about it. It sounded like not in the demo. Or something like that. <laughs> So, uh, I read on the website of Pitch Black that the 
creator isn't a native English speaker. I didn't realize it. So far I have to say I had I found nothing that sounded too weird to me. So, thumbs up for that. Well proofread. Tarantula. Resides in the dining room. Harmless. Doesn't like the doll family or their pranks. Hates smoke. Yeah, I can see where uh, you are coming from, lady. Or mister. I, 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 to be honest, don't know. Generic Kudonome high school male student. <laughs> Generic high school female student. Okay. Vestige. Part of a broken soul. They are said to behave like their former selves and even have a memory of their own. They can't remember their deaths. Capable of moving, but prefer to stay in one place for a prolonged period of times. Main target of pranks pulled by the doll family. When under extreme amounts of pressure, they enter a state of frustration. Shortly after, the instability of the state makes them break and eventually vanish from, from existence forever. Oh, I feel kind of shitty. Oh well, maybe it's better for them if they finally get their, like, their death and their peace. Gloria, an offense mechanism. Uh, not an offense mechanism, but an offense mechanism. So, this is everything, I think. Yeah, that is all. So let's see what happens if we leave. Exit, yes. Yeah, that's it. So, let just uh, let me load one time because I want to see. If my gallery is still updated. Oh, I probably should have done that. Now that I think about it, I probably should have done that. In uh, the bonus room, yeah. Well, I probably missed many pictures anyway. I even read in, in the walkthrough that I missed one picture. But, you know. What can you do? What can you do? So, my opinion about this game. Man, this game is super fun. Like, super, super fun. First of all, the puzzles. The puzzles are not really hard. That being said, I needed to, uh, the, the walkthrough two times, but both times, totally on my part. Like, the first time, the first time uh, was at least a little bit hard. A little bit hard. But, like, the second time I needed the walkthrough, it was totally on me so I, th I think the the puzzles are very fair so uh, nothing too hard but also not completely like uh, stupid so you know what I mean it's not like they are overly easy uh, either um, the story as mentioned I'm really intrigued in the story I want to know what Faye has to do with all of this who are the other people that are in here I'm totally into the story already uh, I love the art, as already mentioned in the first or second episode. The creator is a great artist, if the art is from the creator. So, um, both thumbs up for that. Great, great art. Normal art, and I also like uh, the, 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 the sprites for the characters. They look also very, very cool. Uh, yeah. The atmosphere is good. I, uh... I like the mapping. But there's there's basically nothing negative to say about this so far. I can't think of anything negative. Isn't that all the praise the game needs? Like, there is nothing I did not like about this game. I liked everything. I, I can't think of any game where I ever said I liked everything. <laughs> but so far I really did. And I can't wait for the full release of this game, and I'm going to play the hell out of it. It also had good scares. The scares weren't all over the place, uh, but... So, since I just know now woke up some people in my house, uh, I have to be more quiet. So I'll end this episode here. As mentioned, great games, both thumbs up. Love you, creator. Thank you very much. I hope... Uh, I hope the rest of the game will be as amazing as that, because this is as good as they get, in my opinion. So, thank you everybody for watching. If you feel like it, I have played many other RPG Maker games and stuff like that. If you want to watch that, feel free to do so. If not, it's okay too. And uh, I'll see you in the future. 
Bye-bye.